Hi traders, CBLK is one of my main candidates today. It's down 19%. Now, the interesting part about this talk is the first one minute candle. The first one minute candle, as you can see here, is a green candle. And that's great. It does not always happen that way, but when it does, I love it. Why? It's a huge gap down and it means that the buyers are out of the game because we have a second candle which is red so as long as the third one the one you're seeing right now is not going to go over the highs of the first one minute candle i'm fine with that we are just taking out the ones who are averaging down their losses those people who woke up today and saw their beloved stock down 19 percent i'm getting ready to short it watching the buyers and the sellers watch the buyers and the sellers and look at this pressure here now did you see the pressure of the sellers click that button i'm short 4000 shares a little late i was supposed to join in a little bit earlier but it still looks great and it just broke down under 13. i wanted to make sure it's coming down under 13. i saw the huge number of sellers and now at any pullback i'm going to click that button look at the number of sellers at 81. if they will reduce i will click the button they reduced and it bounced once you see the number of sellers getting down that's the point where you should click the button and get your partial did that i'm planning another trade in cblk if you've seen yesterday my video on how to add to a winning trade that's the same thing just on the short side yesterday i show you a movie a video about how i added to a long play and this time it's just the opposite the same thing i'm thinking about shorting it it's still down 20 percent and i'm going to add a smaller size just 1000 shares right now so it's coming down it's a nice technical reversal the stock is down trending it really has nowhere to go when it's down 20 percent cblk is just about to break down under 13 dollars i did add 1000 shares and i'm about to add another 1000 once it comes down under 13 dollars now now i'm taking a bit of a risk because my original trade was 4000 shares but as you can see i'm just adding but i'm never getting to the point where i'm adding more than my initial trade 4000 shares look at the 13 dollar mark less sellers sorry less buyers i click that button i just add another 1000 and it just came down under so again you don't necessarily have to short it under 13 you can wait for the number of buyers to be reduced and then you click the button that's what you saw me doing added when the number reduced and the number of sellers was growing watching car car is up 12 percent now i was thinking about going long earlier and i i actually put up a poll in the trading room and um, i was told not to touch it by most of the majority of our trading room members we're doing this kind of polls all the time so right now it's different because it came down and now it's trying to move back up so that was my original entry point now i'm waiting for it to go over 33 around 3310 to go long again here we go just moved up now i'm gonna go long 2000 shares i'm long sorry 4000 shares i'm long nice initial move again it pulled back up the stock is up now 13 percent and when it fails to move lower that's the failure over here then you can definitely consider going long once it moves over this consolidation area over this resistance line i'm getting ready to take my partial real soon it's already up 40 cents over 33 now took my partial I think I had like a 30 cent partial that was a nice trade CBLK is looking great I'm short 2500 shares right now and just mentioned uh, earlier that I never add more than my original size so I'm not taking a risk of turning a green trade into a red trade so I'm short 2500 shares as I added twice as it came down getting ready to take my partial taking right now just covered another 2200 shares left 300 shares and that was really a very nice trade and again once i add to a winning trade i never add the same size i will never turn it into a red trade or even take the chance it's going to happen so nice two trades in cblk and in car 1100 dollars in both 2200 altogether. 
Here's the S&P 500 and I want you to concentrate on what you're seeing right here because that's very, very interesting. Uh, S&P came down very strong today, but it's leaving a bottoming tail. Look at this bottoming tail. This bottoming tail is being left right now at a new low. And that's one of the strongest ever reversal patterns that you're going to see. When you're seeing the market coming down to a new low and leaving a bottoming tail, that's a very very strong reversal indication. So it's very, very likely that we've just seen the law of the day, or at least what we're seeing now is the law of the next one hour or so. So it's very, very likely now that the market's going to bounce back up. Now, I'm not a futures trader myself, but a lot of future traders would go long right now, the S&P 500. I won't. It's not my kind of game, but that's a very strong reversal pattern. And here's how it looks like two hours later. You remember that bottoming tail we discussed earlier? That's it, right here. And look at the market. The market pulled back up. And again, you have to remember that when the market's coming down, consolidating, and then coming down strong to a new low, where everybody's concerned that it's going to crash down and then leaves a bottoming tail, that's one of the strongest ever reversal pattern you're going to see, and probably the low of the day. PCG is very interesting. It was just mentioned in the trading room. Look at what happened. It, it moved at a very nice breakout here over 19, a little bit before 19 really, and um, went all the way up to 1926. That's the recent high. Now, if you're thinking about going long, you missed the train, but you have another chance here. The other chance is by right now. Look at the daily. The daily looks good too. Always look at the daily when you make a decision to go long on the intraday. So first, take a good look at the intraday, then go to the daily, now back to the intraday. Now what we're seeing here, the stock moved up to 1926. If you want to go long, you should be buying right here, right now, at 19. Actually, you had the chance to buy at 1901. And the reason for that is that from, again, from a technical perspective, what PCG was doing here, it was retesting the breakout point. So the breakout point, which took it all the way to 1926, was just below $19, right over here. So what happens really is that when a stock is breaking out, and usually, not always, retesting the breakout point, and that's the red candle that you're seeing here, the idea is that it's going to usually bounce back to the highs. So usually a retest happens because there's three different groups of traders who are looking to go long that stock. Let's talk a little about uh, the three groups. The first group is the group who bought it at $19. Are they happy because it moved up 26 cents? No, they're never happy because even if you bought a stock, you're never happy because the only thing that comes into your mind is why did I only buy 1,000 shares? I should have probably bought 2,000 or 5,000 shares. So you wait for a chance for it to come down to 19, back to 19, and only then you go long. That's the first group. They're never happy with what they've done, me included if I do that. So that was the first group. Second group is the group of the short sellers, the ones who saw it moving up, should have moved out at a nice breakout over 19, did not move out. They will not move out at 1926, exactly as the first group will not continue buying at 1920 something. So the second group, the short sellers, would wait for it to come down, and only if it will come down, they will go out of their shorts, which they should have moved out earlier at $19. That's the second group, and they're buying too. Now, who's the third group? The third group is like me. I didn't join that trade at 19 earlier. I should have joined it now. And I couldn't because it moved up to 1926. But once it came down to 19, it gave me a chance to participate too. So if I will be buying the stock, I wouldn't buy it at 1920. I may buy it at 19 as it comes back down to 19, but never at the highs. So the third group is the group that was sitting on the side on the sidelines, the group that saw it watching, watched it moving to a new high, missed the trade, and waited for it to retest the breakdown point, the breakout point. So in this case, it did retest the breakout point. It doesn't always happen, but once it does happen, you should participate in a trade like that. And look at what it's doing right now. It is just about to move to a new high, to a new high. And um, again, 
it's a pattern that a lot of traders take. It's a retest pattern. And uh, next time you see something like that, you should consider a trade, especially the stock that is moving up as strong as PCG does today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.